All right. Lada and Elena? Yes. You guys are both from Ukraine. Yeah, we are from Ukraine. We were born there. Yeah, and uh, we le we were living there all our lives. You, you, you were friends in Ukraine? Yeah. But yeah. You, you, you came here separately? Yeah. To the U.S.? Uh, first, I came through Tijuana, and then Lada did also the same thing, because we were unsure how safe it is, because Mexico is kind of really unsafe place for being there, especially if you're white and blonde. But you were able to come to the United States, how? Through, uh, through humanitarian parole. It's a shelter for people who, in which uh, countries um, there is war going on. And uh, yeah, so we literally came to American officer and we asked for humanitarian parole and let us in. So it's not like a visa or anything like this. It's just um, temporary. It's a temporary it's arrangement for people in your situation. Yeah, it's for one year. And you've been in the United States for about Week, maybe week maximum, yeah, week, may, a few days even, maybe four or five days. Lara is here for few, uh, four days already, yeah. and I'm here for one week and a half. So tell me, how, how are things back, back in your country? Uh, it's getting worse, much more worse than... You, you're, you're living in Kiev? Yeah, I was living in Kiev, uh, and before I was living in Dnipro. It's kind of far, it's two different cities. And uh, so in Dnipro, it's kind of safe because uh, uh, it's uh, it's okay. It's not so dangerous. But Kiev was when just war started, and my mom called me. At, it was 4 a.m. I was sleeping. I got a call. Okay, honey, war just started. So you have to do something with it, and you have to leave the country or something. And the the biggest problem was, I think that everybody was thinking that it's going to end in a few days, in two, three days, everything is going to be okay. But um, it's been two months already, and it's still getting worse with every day. Um, people are starving. They don't have food. Are there old people are dying because they cannot have food? Uh, they're eating coffee. I know a lot of stories where people were drinking only coffee for a month because they couldn't go out because if they will go out, snipers, Russian snipers are going to kill them. And uh, there is a lot of children who also dying because they need food and they cannot sleep when it's cold. In Ukraine, it's really cold. It's not like USA, because in USA, weather is really good. In Ukraine, it's like a winter right now. So imagine, during the winter, you're sleeping somewhere on the ground in a metro and with your children and you don't have food and you cannot go, do, go out and get water. Uh, and... Uh, Yeah, it's uh, something like this. A lot of cities are occupied. Uh, Kiev was also occupied before when I was in Kiev, but right now it's kind of better. Uh, there, there are bombings and things like that going on. Yeah, there's still bombings. The problem is uh, that NATO don't. I don't know why, but they don't want to close the sky. I think. A lot of people already know in USA that our sky is still open for bombing. And as soon as war started, our president, all our country were asking, please close the sky. That's all we need. We will handle everything. We will fight. Everybody is fighting. But they didn't close. It's been three months already, like two and a half. And sky is still open. And nobody want to help us. Like, they do help us. But... The most important things which we need, um, yes, and uh, um, I think that everything could uh, could end if uh, sky would be closed. 
Uh, I think maybe war would be... When you say sky closed, you mean... Yes, if the sky would be closed. What do you mean by that? Um, okay, there is a sky area and uh, Russian military is uh, in a sky and bombing from a sky our country. So some way to prevent that. Yeah, and NATO has possibility to close the sky so Russians cannot go, cannot fly. And because that's, uh, that's the most important. Because we fly, uh, we fight on a land, we fly, uh, we fight or on water, but uh, we cannot fight in a sky. We cannot do anything with the sky. All we need is to close it. It's so hard because yeah, uh, uh, old people can't buy something food because uh, when start war, um, uh, everyone uh, uh, was in shock and uh, run go to shopping. Uh, I remind uh, we stay in uh, uh, line uh, maybe four hours because we need some food. But when uh, uh, start us. Um, when the, their line, yeah, when yeah, there yeah. was in the beginning of the line, they told us there no. Uh, we close. Yeah, uh, we close because uh, soon start. Uh, um, uh, what is this? Uh, soon everything close and we can't go to street because uh, very dangerous there. Uh, in 5 p.m. we need to uh, was at home. And uh, if we don't uh, uh, was at home, uh, it's like diversions uh, uh, or something, and uh, it's so hard for uh, us people to understand who um, who is who. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who yeah. is a good person? Who is not? Who you can trust and who you cannot trust? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, 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 when starts this panic, older people can't buy nothing because you go to shop and you can see nothing. Uh, uh, only very expensive food. Uh, stay in shops uh, and this is really so hard uh, and a lot of uh, mm, puppy, cats, uh, people leave this. When start everything, people leave uh, uh, as, uh, mm, uh, uh, as animals and uh, animals die too because they can't eat or something. Now uh, when uh, uh, when uh, after start war, a uh, little time, and uh, then people start doing something with this. Uh, they uh, destroy uh, home and uh, do it. Uh, saved uh, animals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our yeah. organization, uh, there is a lot of organization where they are saving animals, because they. So what they are doing? They are literally doing a hole in a wall to give food to a cat, a dog, anything. Sometimes, a lot of times, they found dead bodies of old people there because they were starving. And also, what I know, it's also uh, really, really bad. In some T cities, uh, uh, okay, so our nationality or national value is grivna. We don't use dollars. But in some cities, it's uh, so impossible to get grivna right now because it's really, really went high and it's everything where products went so expensive. Pro everything really, really got so freaking expensive that people started to pay with dollars. And dollars compared to Grivna is five times higher. It's like really, it's uh, a big difference. So people literally, for example, had savings for all their life for 20 years of dollars. And they started to buy bread, milk, usual products, what you is really cheap, who anyone could afford with dollars. So expensive, like not even five, not even 10 uh, more expensive, but I don't know, like 50 times more expensive comparing to a dollar. So there's literally cities in our country where people are paying with dollars in some way. It's also like crazy when you hear it. And uh, again, it's it. It's going on right now. And don't take me uh, don't take me wrong, but I can 
kind of compare what's going on right now in Ukraine to what to what was going on in a second uh, international war. Why? Because there was a genocide, and uh, genocide is always bad. When you you said gen genocide. Genocide. I'm sorry. Genocide. Yeah, genocide is over, ba always bad. When you know. You don't like some nationality. You think, okay, so this nationality is bad. And all Russians, there is uh, all Russian TV, all Russian media show that we are killing each other. They think that all Russian country, all nationality think that we literally kill each other. They don't believe that their army came to us because there's so much fake news. Everything is so corrupt that they literally think that we are destroy our own houses. And it's, I'm not even uh, overthinking. It's literally true if you will go on internet and go and speak to Russian people, they're gonna say, no, 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 we don't touch Ukraine. We never, we, we don't care about Ukraine. They're just, sorry, suckers. They kill each other. They're just uh, Nazi. Russian people think that we are Nazi and they wanna save us from us. They don't believe for nothing what happened here, uh, there, because uh, I, I have uh, uh, Ukrainian and half uh, Russian. Her, my father Russian. Yeah, Russian. Uh, uh, in Ukraine only my mom and brother. And uh, now we don't speak with my father because he can believe uh, in uh, what happened in Ukraine. Yeah. First time they don't know nothing about this because uh, Russia don't wanna show nothing. Uh, they. Uh, uh, I remind, I uh, uh, call my father and want to speak with him and he told me when I start, uh, fa father, my f friends die, you understand, uh, 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 close with my house, bomb, I I'm very scary. He said me, you told me bullshit, it's not right, uh, they killed only Nazis uh, because uh, it's hard to understand. Uh, seriously, my grandmother, uh, grandfather, don't believe for that. And uh, now we don't speak because he told me you're like B Benderevka. I don't uh, okay, um, it's like um, he don't want to speak with me, and he don't believe. Uh, and it's so hard to understand what close people for you, your family, don't believe for you what happened with you. I can't understand this. Yeah, so she literally lost half of her family. Uh, half, she's half Russian, half Ukrainian. And half of the family lives in Russia, half in Ukraine. And so literally she called her father in front of me and she's like, okay, dad, like your people, Russians are killing us. Like literally right now in front of me, there is like this sirens, sirens going on. I cannot go out. People are gonna kill me. Like, I'm gonna be dead to the, tomorrow. And he started to laugh. He started, what? What do you mean? We, don't, we didn't enter in your country? It's you. So her father literally told her that Ukrainian people came to Ukraine <laughs> and, and started Ukrainian. to kill Ukrainian people for what? So the, you, the news is... You know. News, news are so fake, but it's hilarious. It's not even... It's really funny what I just said that can you imagine in US you just go and you what you destroy your own country your favorite place in the world your home your families are you serious nobody is going to do it but all Russian federation literally think that what we are doing is just like you know for fun because we are crazy or what, but uh, I wish. And you, you see killing when you're there? In, yes. In your country? In Dead your bodies everywhere. Really? Children, old people, usual people. You just go and you know, um, Russians, what they do, they do your hands like this. They tie your hands, they kill you. And when you go, you see people on a street with tight hands like this, so they cannot move. Killed. So they, it's, it's, uh, I mean, uh, I, it's crazy. 
because it's 21st century, everybody is sitting on TikTok, Instagram, everybody posting stories, you know, nobody think how safe they are. Because in Ukraine, Ukraine is really a safe country. I cannot say that it's a really bad country. No, it's safe. I've been living in really unsafe districts, but still, even in unsafe districts, I was safe. Nobody ever came to, uh, to me and talk, talked badly or asked it about anything sexually, for example, as a girl. Ukrainian people are really respectful, really. If you will ever go to Ukraine, no bad, nobody is gonna come to you, nobody is gonna talk to you. Everybody, you know, respects their own space. Because we are really, uh, if, if, you, if you will learn our culture and our history, half of our country was in Europe. So we are really, really close to Europe, um, you know, traditional. We are really traditional country and we are close to Europe because uh, um, before our country, like long time ago, was part of Poland. Uh, and the Poland is, a, Poland is a European Union. So our country is not like Russia, for example. It's more like Poland uh, because of the history. Uh, and... Uh, um, but, but Ukraine has become more a lot uh, closer with the NATO countries, right? Yeah. And I think Russia is threatened by this. The whole war started, why? Because of the NATO. Our president, uh, he wanted to go to NATO because we want to be in European Union for eight years already. And but, the, we, but, but that opens the door that, that you know, Moscow is, is a five minute missile ride away from Ukraine. So that makes Russia feel vulnerable. Yeah. So that, that's where this problem geographically, you guys are in a bad spot. Uh, but geographically, we, our country is in the middle of whole Europe. And our country is the biggest as in any country in Europe. France, Germany, Sweden, Switzerland, anything. We are much more bigger. So that means that uh, if the, Russia come, came to us, we have border with Poland, we have border with any other countries, so they can easily go through in other countries, you know? If they already cross our border, why they cannot let them in go, for example, into Poland, you know? What are gonna stop them if they're already doing such terrible things? Nothing. What? They don't have moral. And that's the most important. Uh, moral is the most important. Who you are, your personality. And uh, I was always thinking that I'm safe, you know? I was always living in a good family. I have really good family. I have really good friends. I, n I never was betrayed or anything. And when all this happened, uh, you cannot even imagine, I cannot even imagine that <laughs> we, we fight with racism, we fight with sexism, we fight with everything, everything, okay, but there are war everywhere. Well, it, it's also interesting that the culture, the religion, the culture, you share a lot of things with the Russians, right? Is yeah. It, you're, you're, you're a very similar people. It's true. It's true because we talk in the same language. We have two languages in Ukraine. National language is Ukrainian. And uh, another language which is not national is Russian. So it's, uh, we are free people in Ukraine. We can talk even in English if we want, you know. So it's a choice of every person what language he want to speak. And also it's because of history. As I told you before, half of our country was in Europe long time ago. Like right now it's Europe, of course, before it was not. And half of our country was close to like Russia Federation. If I'm going to talk to pre about present right now, of course, in the past, it wasn't like Russia Federation in Europe. Uh, so that's why our country is really different. There is a lot of stuff, but I cannot say that. Uh, I cannot say that uh, we are similar to Europe or Russian. We are something in the middle. I can say because of the history. Uh, and yes, of course. Do I love? Do I like Russia in general? Yes, because I'm not. Nazi, I'm not, no one, I still like Russia, I, it's a good country, there's good people, I'm still a person with moral, so, uh, you know, 
I'm trying still, there is a lot of hate about Russia also, but uh, Russia is a big country. We cannot blame everyone for their president, government. We cannot blame people who didn't decide where to live. And um, that's also a big problem right now because I understand that it's all about, I don't know, government. It's all about some rich people and uh, people like me and Lada. We don't actually decide anything. We just run. Okay, war started. Okay, what we should do? Run? Okay, hide? What? Mm. And um, the only... I also, I wanted to share with you. When I came to US, I saw that you ac you actually give a lot of people a lot of money to Ukraine because even when I was in Starbucks I was buying coffee for myself in the end I saw okay do you want to give money to a refugee in Ukraine and I saw it everywhere I don't know where all this money are going because there is no food there is no medicine there is nothing and I feel like okay let's imagine if uh, population of USA is uh, 180 million, 180 million, something, like, yeah, something like that, about 200 million, I think. I'm not sure, but okay. Yeah, um, if at least one person will donate one dollar, I mean, it's all going to be good. But I don't, everybody is donating to us, Europe donating to us, USA donating to us, all world is helping and us. You don't, you don't see it, any of it? Uh, no, I don't see it. Because all I see, all help we have is from Ukrainians. I literally send every week money to soldiers because there is a lot of volunteers. I know a lot of soldiers. I send it directly. They're telling me we don't have money. We don't have this. We need this. We need this. We need technique. We need, you know, this stuff for not getting killed. I don't know what's the name of it. You know, we need all this. They're literally saying to me and we have she have a huge page on Instagram. She also donated a lot of um, money and share information about how to help Ukraine. But I still cannot imagine if all this money from whole world are coming to us, why, where, where is it? And why we are sending money? We from Ukraine literally send money. My mom sending money. All my family sending money every, every week, I swear. I don't know even... I don't know any Ukrainian person who didn't send money or buy, uh, who bought anything for our soldiers. And so it's also interesting. Where is it all going? Or where is all money? And uh, why all everything is so strict and so strange? Why everybody is helping us, but in the same time, they don't? In the same time, they're giving us money. In the same time, we are struggling from not having food <laughs> and the water. Uh, this is all, you know, I cannot understand how it can be all in the same time. I asked my few American friends, what do you think about it? Mm, and they told me that of course, it's all official, of course, they're sending money, but still, it's really strange. It's hard to believe for you, right? Yeah, it, it is. It is hard to believe. And it feels like it's matrix. You know, I still don't, uh, uh, don't believe that all this is happening. And why is this is happening? And are they really helping us? Or maybe somebody wanted to have a war in Ukraine. There is a lot of stories in, on the internet. Why is it happening? Maybe it's, everything is not so easy. Maybe everything is much more difficult. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. The, uh, would, would you want to go back to Ukraine if it is, becomes part of Russia? No, never, never. Um, no. Uh, we are so free. Um, I don't know about other countries with their mentality, but Ukrainian people are so about freedom that literally in our song, we have gimn, gimn, 
a guy, Gimn. Yeah, you know what's Gimn? A na national traditional song of uh, your country. Him. Him. Yes. Yeah. Literally, in our hymn, there is saying that we all that we all the time we are going to be free. Why? Because uh, our history was that uh, all the time they wanted to take part of Ukraine. And we have always revolutions. We have, we had even revolution eight years ago when Ukrainian people stand in the middle of a country and kick the government out and went to European Union because of how, how much freedom is inside us. So I will never ever, uh, come to, to a country or to a government who is like this, who press on me. Every time I feel pressing on me, I always do the opposite. It's who I am. And I cannot say for other people in Ukraine, but yeah, we all about, you know, our mentality is mm, every, some, something is going to press on us. Yeah, we do the opposite and that's it. Because we hate being manipulative as everyone also. Of course, everybody don't like being manipulated and pressed. So uh, if uh, uh, Russia is going to take Ukraine and uh, everything is going to be bad, I will not come back because I don't want to live in Russia. Mm, what I'm going to do, I don't know. Uh, where I'm going to stay, I don't know. But for sure, I'm not going to come back. I'm going to... There are still... Uh, most of my family is still in Ukraine. Friends are still in Ukraine. Why? Not because they cannot go, because they are staying there, because they uh, love their country and they don't want to leave. Um, that's why. Um, and I came here actually also support my country. Because I cannot, I'm supporting it with money. I'm trying to give money to who I can and who I'm sure about. And this interview is also kind of support to my to my family to my friends and to my country that we need to fight back and uh, that no way no way we are going to stand and listen to Russia what they are going to say nobody is going to stay in Ukraine if this is going to happen you will see nobody is going to stay there everybody is going to leave because it's who we are and uh, I guess, I guess we will win. I believe in it because uh, I can't, I don't think it's going to happen. Why? Because everybody is going to stand. And if I will understand that my country is losing, I swear I will going to come back because um, I need to be here. And... Uh, I'm not selfish. I'm trying to be not selfish. I'm trying to hide my ego and I'm trying to help people because in my opinion, it's the most important. And no matter who you are, you have to have principles. If you're, have, if you're having principles and moral, you're still a person and you're still alive. If you're out of it, you're not a person anymore. You're not a human being anymore. You're just, I don't know object because what does it mean to be a person and human being it's about soul and what is inside us it's not about how rich you are what car you have what bag what work what job what if you have any uh, rich friends or no no it's about inside it's about your soul i believe in it um that's why i will Everybody is going to stand for our country to the end. That's why I don't think that we are going to lose. Because in Russia, it's not like this. I know some stories which are really true that some soldiers were going to Ukraine. They didn't even know that they're going to Ukraine. They told, they told them, and it's really true. Some of them, it's really like some of them. They told them they're going to go just for training. And they came to Ukraine to a war. And they were, I literally no one person who were calling his mother and asking to take him back and he was 19 they sent 90 years old boys to take a to take a part in a war 
which is also bad. Uh, 18, 19 years old guys, 20 years old guys. I mean, you have to study in this age. You don't need to war in this age. And they're just sending and sending. And Why we are going to win? Because we are standing for the, our country and we have power. We have here something, a big soul. And they just came, came to us and they just work for some president and they don't have soul. And I always try to believe that good is going to win over the bad. It's not always like this, but it's on our responsibility. Everybody should take responsibility, good and bad, in this world. And if you're taking responsibility being bad in this world, then don't judge that this world is so cruel. Yeah. All right, Lara and Elena, thank you so much for thank you. giving us a little insight into what's going on over in Ukraine. Thank you. Thank you very much. I hope, I hope things work out for the best for your country. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you.